Looks like we have some new Turtle Wow news. It's mostly just a teaser. It doesn't have the full like list of what's going to be in the next patch, which is going to be the Tower of Karazhan patch. It even says there that um, it's a work in progress. A lot of it, like this right here, doesn't tell us the full story. So like I said, it's just a teaser, but let's see what it has to say. Firstly, there's going to be the new raid Upper Karazhan, more information coming soon, so they're not delving into that just yet. Uh, same thing with this one, new primary profession. In this update, we're introducing a new primary profession equal in status to existing crafting professions. This addition comes with trainers, recipe vendors stationed all across the capital cities, featuring two sub-specializations. The profession allows for new crafting experience, moreover brings approximately 200 new items into the world so and it's going to be progression through leveling and exploration so it doesn't really tell us exactly what it is all we know it's a crafting and not a gathering profession two specializations so i mean i don't really know what this could be i mean it's definitely not the overhaul of survival we know that's coming but this is not it right here um it's going to be for leveling and exploration and dev and dungeon exploration it says so i doubt it's going to be like a like a like a lumberjack kind of thing you know how people like do the player housing with lumberjack or or construction i doubt it's going to be that uh this is probably going to be something completely new may maybe like a type of like a like a room crafting equivalent to enchanting i don't know that's just my little speculation uh class changes hopefully they do a lot of fixing from the last big class change they did because that was kind of um kind of terrible but um now we have vanilla dungeon updates and this is going to be the biggest part of the video so right here you see a couple of pictures of brand new wings in current existing dungeons so right there it's just like a little teaser some pictures but they go in depth right here so for the dead mines, two new areas have been added. Uh, you have Jared Vess oversees the dangerous lab producing Zanzel's mixture located in the mine section before uh, I can never pronounce this guy's name. Uh, Ra Ragan Kazor, I don't know, presenting a new first boss encounter for adventurers who choose this optional route. So it is a optional boss, but it could be considered your first boss if you choose to do them. So probably like when you first walk into Dead Mines, you like take a left in that little open area that you don't really go to instead of going right to the first ogre boss or whatever and then you have masterpiece harvester which is probably going to be in that round foundry area a relic from the dead mines past has laid dormant for long in the uh, goblin factory awaiting activation to wreak havoc at the world above and then the loot updates they're uh, adjusting a couple of pre-existing items like the hammer that the first boss the ogre boss that is uses to uncommon rather than the just common white it and rock biter is going to be a rare two-handed uh axe with armor penetration now for wailing caverns two new areas have been added with both uh having bosses in them uh van gross a formidable apex predator empowered by the rampant life magics of the cavern lurking in an overgrown sub cave uh judging by let's see where is it this picture right there the overgrowth there's a lot of water in there it probably could be a crocolisk it's the i'm thinking it's gonna be like a crocolisk or some sort of raptor that's what i'm guessing anyway, and then you have zandara windhoof the coal car has sent an expedition into the depths of the cavern having established a camp within the intent with the intention of cementing it as a stronghold for the centaur threatening the barons and beyond and then from there they've updated uh anacondra's loot table so that her serpent shoulders are rare and that they now have a new brand new staff tailored for bear dreams druids which makes sense the a lot of the armor sets in Wailing cavern is for druid so now we have shadow fang keep one new area has been added with a new boss uh, i believe let me see up here the shadow fang keep is the chapel so let's go back here so the chapel is going to be the new area with a new boss the prelate iron or prelate iron main a spectral priest and preacher of the light uh as it was in the Gilnean faith, haunting the keep's church, seeking peace. Lay the prelate to rest, purify the keep. 
Um, I'm probably guessing you either get to it through the courtyard or, um, so when you're in the courtyard and you're going to the next area, you normally take a left there to do the cook and then to do, uh, Silver Lane or whatever his name is. Uh, if you go to the right, it's just, it leads up to the hallway that eventually leads to, um, oh god, what's the name, the, the human knight guy, I forgot his name, but that whole area, I mean, it's kind of useless, I'm assuming it's going to be up in that area to give it a purpose other than just being there to be there, so that's where I'm assuming it's going to be within the dungeon itself. Now, Scarlet Monastery has a new area in the graveyard, um... Let's see, the Knight of Nexramus, a harbinger of the Dread Citadel, enslaved by the prison complex below the torture chambers and experimented on, waiting for the right moment to break free. Uh, the library has a new area with a new boss, Brother Steelfist, a masterful monk preparing initiates with martial prowess in the hidden chambers of the library. The armory has a new area, let's see, with two, one new area with a new boss. In addition, a new boss has been added to the original route. Okay. So you have the Nameless Experiment. A living blade forged from the unholy combination of rune forging, infusion of light, and thirst for combat. Uh, then you have the Master Smith, Joanna. The craftsman behind the Crusaders' powerful armaments fueled with the same zealous flame of the Scarlet... Uh, all the Scarlets possess. And that seems to be the um, new areas for right now. From there, we have new character customizations with, a, let's see, approximately 15 brand new Turtle Wow hairstyles. But they will also be including hairstyles from Wrath of the Lich King as well as Alpha Wow. So if we look at the picture here, the uh, dwarf on the top right corner has that like wild hammer Mohawk, I don't believe you had that in the original. It became maybe later on, like Wrath of Lich King. I don't remember. Um, I can't quite see the Torin. I think he's got a new horn style. He's definitely got a new beard style. The uh, Most of them pretty much just have new hairstyles that look fairly generic. They're okay. The uh, woman at the bottom below the Torin there has like an alpha female face, like an alpha World of Warcraft female face. You can definitely see that the one next to her to her left has war paint. It also looks like she has an alpha face, but I don't know. I can't quite tell, but she does have war paint, which is new. The uh, troll next to her also has war paint. And the what I'm more excited about is the blood elf, or the high elf rather, has a beard. <laughs> yeah, finally they have beards. And the last thing we're going to go over is the toy collection tab. So it's just something con to consolidate all of the various toys that you can get either in the game itself or through their um, shop. See right, see right there, like the spectral fox whistle, which I have no idea where you get that from. Then you have the illusions, which I have two of them on my main character. And then a couple of them that are just from you know, the holidays and stuff. So that's just a way to keep your bags clean. You don't have to keep them in your bank. You don't have to keep them in your bags if you want to play with them. And it just helps reduce the overall space needed. So that's going to be good. Oh, uh, they also uh, have improved the profession tab. So they added like a search bar. They added it so it's a little bit easier uh, visibility. So um, it looks mostly the same, just with those few minor changes. You can see the search bar there at the bottom left-hand corner. But yeah, that's um, adding more things like that and even like this help um kind of introduce what an add-on would provide you so things like that integration rather is a good thing to some degree small things like that like ui updates is completely fine and then right here we just have general um updates it's all like oh his head is not gonna clip through the helmet anymore so uh, gen just general fixes but that's pretty much it for this small little update for turtle wow just a teaser trailer i'm pretty sure they're going to be delving into the full length one eventually before the you know patch actually launches and if you want to see or hear more turtle wow news updates reviews coverage please like this video subscribe i also cover other private servers such as Azeroth at War, the brand new up and coming uh, World of RuneScape. We also have Epoch WoW that's about to go into its beta, its third beta this week, uh, Friday to be exact, I believe. Yeah, Friday. Um, tons of stuff coming up soon. I've got a brand new video reviewing 
Vanilla Wow coming this Friday as well. So stay tuned to see that. I will be going through all of the expansions. It's going to be great. But we're starting off with Vanilla for right now. But anyway, that is the end of this video. I will see you guys next time.